guys welcome to the part 2 of the php formal edition if you have not already seen the part 1 which is the creation of the simple form please do check it out we are going to validate the form which has already been created open the uh, document that is the form.php which we had created earlier in the part 1 video add the php code at the start of the html this server side code will not be visible to the user in the browser as a source code use the is set method so the function runs only when the button is clicked pass on the name for that we need to use the dollar underscore post which will receive the value button value to be true if the button is clicked then that true will be passed to the is set method if the button uh, is set method receives a true then it will also set itself to true then the contents inside will inside the if loop will be executed as you can see we have created various span classes for the error display of error to store or to take the values which we uh, which the form has been submitted whether the value has been submitted or not we need to create all the variables for taking the inputs from the user create variable i would like to name the variable same as uh, the one which i specified in the field names so it will be easier for me to uh, remember that I'm using post method so the value will not be passed through a URL it will be encoded and it will sent along with the HTTP but it will not visible in the URL I will type it out the field names password type it one by one because uh, username is for only the username field you need to change accordingly I forgot to mention the email email dollar underscore post field name was email yes email now we are finished taking the input refresh the page now click on submit nothing will happen because we, we had just taken the input now we need to write the form validation code i will write the commands this is the validation part and uh, this is taking inputs yes now you can see the above part is for taking inputs and the below part is for form validation the if empty method checks whether the field is empty or not if the field is left empty and submitted then it will show or display an error to you this is pattern regist uh, register match which uh, matches the pattern which you pass it in the uh, variable it takes two variable first is the pattern it is always written in the forward slashes this is represents the start of the line the upper cap and the dollar represents the end of the line and the star represents a single character small a to z and capital a to z these are the alphabets which are allowed as the username cannot contain any digits or spaces or any symbols This, are the, this is the error message which we uh, I am going to store it in an error variable you need to create an error variable I will create a cu error which we will later display it on the span tag which we given the class name error instead of writing 
everything in a single i will first check for the empty values then i will do the other validation let me do that create a error variable dollar u error username cannot be empty just copy that and paste there are exactly six input fields so paste it six time email change it accordingly you need to change the names because every field is different we don't want to check the username field six times one left is gender g and e r yes change the error message also accordingly it needs to be changed according because username cannot empty doesn't be the error message for all we will do it later creating the other validation for the input field username so i already said preg match underscore is used to match the pattern that is nothing but the regular regular expression performs regular expression match this upper cap represents the start of the line and a dollar represents the end of the line as i already said and star represents a single character alphabets small alphabets a to z and capital alphabets a to z are only allowed for username as username cannot p a uh, digit or any symbols as already said the subject is nothing but the variable with whose values we need to uh, verify with that whether it is correct or not change the error message accordingly enter a valid username you can change the error message as per your needs there is no compulsory or restriction that you should use the same name as i am using for email we can still use a filter underscore where instead of creating your own method filter underscore where is nothing but filters a variable which is passed to that using a filter specified for validating the email we uh, i am using filter validate and underscore email the variable will be passed through this filter and if it is true it is in the proper email format then it will not display an error if it is then we need to uh, display an error change the error variable accordingly for email error i am typing it as em error enter a valid email as you can see password can be uh, pa to validate the password we doesn't require more much because passwords can contain symbols digits etc so we just need to edit the error messages and check whether the password and the confirm password field matches or not as you can see i am checking not equal to if these are not equal to password is not equal to confirm password then display an error i will display it as on password error passwords don't match or doesn't match as already said error message can be anything but you have to specify it on your own no compulsion to use my own error messages but always note the error message should help the user to identify what mistake he has done so be specific with that error messages you can use the same for the phone number validation also because phone number cannot contains alphabets the back uh, forward slash d specifies that uh, it allows only the digits not the alphabets 
so phone number cannot contain any alphabets i might have used string length equal to 10 because phone numbers in india are 10 digits but as you can see the form is not only available to india it can be around the worldwide so i am not using string length because phone numbers length varies based on the uh, users or the countries to be specific use your gender change the error variable name this is important don't forget to change that battery is low sorry submit again syntax error where is the error I will check the error now. Yeah, I forgot to mention the semicolon. Now I have I have refreshed the page. Undefined index. This is just a warning. I will later show you how to remove that or uh, hide that from the users. as you can see the errors are not displayed because we have only stored the errors in the variable now we need to echo that errors for that now everything is set now echo the errors we have stored only the errors in the variable we need to echo it out echo the appropriate error on the appropriate tags for example i am now typing the echo email error below the e email input box so be careful when you add that because if you add a wrong error on the wrong line then the form will not be usable or it will be incorrect or improper this is for p what was the error yeah p error variables all, always contain dollar symbols in php so don't forget to add the dollar symbol and echo is nothing but the print statement which prints out or uh, displays the text or the variables data into the browser oh i forgot the echo here don't forget the echo echo using echo only will print the display print or display the data on the browser or the error on the browser to be more specific now refresh the page as you can see now the errors are displayed over here mm. now go back to your code i will add a br tag here because the choose gender comes in the same line with that as you can see i am creating the all the variables and uh, i am going to initialize it to an empty string because whenever the page is loaded since the echo tag is present inside the form it will echo some values if i am i am setting it to default or null values or an empty string it will not display any values so uh, the error errors will not be displayed on the page no you have to check go back to your code yeah i forgot to add the gender error now we have initialized everything to an empty string and uh, as we as we were seeing the warning notice index to avoid that or avoid displaying that we will use error underscore reporting method and use the value zero to dis uh, avoid displaying any or do not display any warnings in the browser because we don't want the user to see any kind of warnings yeah as you can see now the form is working correctly let's test that entering all the wrong data entering text submit it as you can see 
I didn't add the at the rate, so it was not a valid email. The password also doesn't match, and the phone number I had text. I had entered the text in that field. Now I will add the correct values and see whether it works. As you can see, everything goes fine and the form is submitted. But what we want is we want the form. As you can see, whenever the form is submitted, we want the form to be gone to an HTML or a success page. To be specific, we want to go to a success page. So create a success page in the HTML docs folder. Create success dot HTML. Open that with any text editor. Add the basic HTML tags. Save. Give the title success. Add an uh, H1 tag and specify that your form has been sub submitted successfully. Refresh the page. Submit it. Your form has been submitted. But we don't want the form to be submitted when there is error or empty values. So for that, we need to create a flag variable, which will help us to know whether the error has occurred. I am setting it the flag to one whenever an error is occurred. Initially, flag is zero. So whenever the flag value will be one, then we can easily identify that the error has occurred, and we will stop the page from going to the success page. So to do that. Add the flag variable equal to one inside every if else statement. Write the following code: if flag equal to zero equal to zero, return the header. The header no does nothing but navigates to the success HTML page. And flag equal to zero means the error has not occurred. Then uh, then return to the success page. Now go to the browser and type the URL form.php enter if we directly click submit it doesn't navigate us to the success page if we enter all the details properly valid data are entered now click on submit yes when the all the values are entered correctly then only it submits us to the success page that's it now we are done uh thanks for watching if you have any doubts or queries you can comment down below